There are many different types of river management strategies that hydrologists use today. And today I'm going to talk about one of them specifically, and it is called the river winged dike construction. If you take a look here, we have above view of typical meandering river where erosion is focused in these two areas where the water flow is very rapid compared to the other side. And of course, deposition and sedimentation of material will occur here and here. So, we built river wing dikes, or sometimes called river wing dams, perpendicular to the flow of the river. By doing so, we have created a channel that is much larger, deeper, faster, uh, compared to the areas where the wing dikes are. The side view of the river clear clearly illustrates that a wing dike blocks the majority of the flow of the river, and therefore here where the water flow will lose most of its energy is the site where the sedimentation, deposition of material occurs. And wing dikes are typically made of mud, clay, sand, rocks, a concrete, and even a dredge materials out of riverbed or seabed. Uh, those materials are, were analyzed and filtered before they can be actually used to construct the river wing dikes. So there are a couple of examples that I'm going to show. Show. Here is a Missouri River that is crossing the United States and you can see here this is where all the multiple sets of um, uh, wing dikes are and on the other side we have this big channel that is wider, deeper and faster and it can be used for voyages, vessels and even large ships to um, do a water carriage. And this is a rip, also another river in US called Mississippi River and wing dikes are on one side where all the sedimentation occur here, here, here and because of that the fast moving main channel the vessel can move around. In terms of successfulness of these two rivers I would say they have been successful in the sense that these channels has been keeping its shape all year round because the fast moving uh, fast water flow that would transport all the materials out of its way but there has been a concern claimed by other hydrologists saying in longer term uh, such construction of wing dikes will cause f higher frequency of floating because all the materials that were uh, transported by this main channel would be um, sink to the other areas and that would uh, cause more flooding. And there has been also other concerns that these wing dikes will eventually um, be submerged by the water over time and that could become a very big, very, da very dangerous to the people uh, driving uh, along the river. And here is my work cited and thank you for listening.